All right, guys, what we're going to be looking at this time for the Max, we're going to be looking at some of the basic things inside here. So we've gone through the installs. So now we know how to do the installs. We can get the machine set up properly. So I just want to show you some of the options inside here for when we're utilizing uh, department codes. Uh, we want to change default settings because that's going to be different from what you're used to on the Windows machines. So once you've done the install of the machine like this one right here, uh, just always remember you can hit your uh, options there. It's going to bring up this page again. You know your uh, supply levels, your utilities. You can print. You can change the series of machines inside here. Your options. But now you can also hit show printer web page. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up your top access that'll get you inside the machine. So we can get in there. We can look around. We can poke around. We can see what's going on inside there. We can log in if we need to find anything in here. Uh, so, for in this case, what we uh, for this video's purpose, we're going to be looking to see. Okay, well, they're using department codes, and since it's a color machine, they always want it to print default to black. Those type of things. So you don't do that from in here. You can't. You don't really uh, change that around like you would inside the Windows going under printer properties. Those things really just aren't here. However, what you're going to do is you can bring up anything. Now uh, you can bring up a lot of times just something simple. Uh, I'll go straight to Safari. I bring up a page. I go up here to File. And I'm just going to say Print. So it's going to bring up my print options inside here. I can hit Show Details from this point. What I'm going to be doing here is there's always going to be a drop down inside here. These are all your different options for inside here. So, for instance, let's say we're looking for department codes. If we're looking for department codes, we're going to go under print mode. We're going to print mode. We're going to check department mode. We'll come over here and we put in the, whatever department code we put in. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, whatever it might be. Uh, you can give it a username. So you can that that alias there. So it's that name going over across. So this one, whatever you want to name it. Again, you don't even really have to, but you can. Uh, this is where you can change where you're going to send it to the hold queue, you're going to send it to a proof queue, a private queue. So these are your different queues here. Um, I'm not going to save these department codes on because I'm not utilizing that because it will not work if I turn those on. So, but something else I'm going to be looking at is my color settings. If I go under my color settings, this is where uh, they always, always, uh, max, always default to color. So we have to go in, we change it to mono on the color type right here underneath color settings one. And we've gone through the other settings, you know, we've changed around the, the DPIs, we've changed around anything we needed to change around inside here that we want to save as default. Uh, once we have that finished, we're going to come up here to the presets, we're going to drop that down, we're going to say save current settings as preset. It's going to come up and we can name it here. Most of the time what I do is I just uh, would rename this black and white uh, is all I do. Uh, you can name it anything you really want so you can do whatever you like. You say okay and now it's saved that. Now you do have uh, those others inside here you can actually hit show presets and it'll show up all your different presets uh, that are inside there. You can break that down if you want to. I rarely have to get inside there other than uh, when I say show presets, it's going to open it up. I can go to the one that I made, I can duplicate it or I can delete it. That comes in handy sometimes, but you do have that option. Um, so once you've done that, you can say print, it's going to print that out, it'll be black and white, it's fine. Uh, and you're pretty much you're ready to rock and roll at that point. Uh, a couple other things that you can look at inside here, just uh, this is where like uh, book, booklet settings are, so you can enable booklet mode, you can do you can do a lot of stuff inside here, so you can change out your layouts, you can look at layouts and for your uh, like uh, double sided printing, those types of things, you can look at paper sizes also inside here, so this is where all those options would be, and I uh, appreciate you watching, we'll be doing